Hello everyone. This week we are celebrating something that is very near and dear to my heart. The 25th anniversary of Disney's Animal Kingdom. Now, I haven't been here for that whole time, but I've been amazed at all the wonderful stories that our team has shared with guests about the inspiring animals that we share this planet with. I am so grateful for the talented professionals that I get to work with every day who take care of these amazing animals. Our veterinarians, nutritionists, animal keepers, scientists, all committed to one thing, and that is the highest care for all our animals, from the tiniest of spiders to the mightiest of elephants. Did you know that we have 45 iconic animals that have been here since the park opened to guests in 1998? Let's get to know a few of them. Well, Jack and Jill are our miniature donkeys and they're found up at Rafiki's Planet Watch in the affection section yard. They're very different. Um, they're a very bonded pair. They're not siblings. Jill is the more brave of the two. She's more secure and confident. And Jack is a little bit more hesitant and he takes his confidence from Jill. And they're fun to watch. They'll play a lot. McLean is one of our original elephants and you can find him on the Kilimanjaro Safaris. McLean's uh, nickname is Mac, of course, uh, and sometimes we call him Big Mac because he is our biggest elephant at Disney's Animal Kingdom. I think it's fair to say that Mac has a fan club. Guests have been coming for over 25 years to see him, and so he's easily recognizable. Gino is a western lowland gorilla that lives on Gorilla Falls Exploration Trail. He is the dad of our family gorilla group. Gino is able to connect our guests to gorillas and conservation and helps tell the story to people who may not be able to visit gorillas in Africa. Many of our guests have been coming to Disney's Animal Kingdom to see Gino and the gorillas every year. We have gotten to meet several of our guests that make their vacation plans around visiting Gino and watching his family grow. Gino has such a big personality, he's very easy for our guests to connect to. So Sid is our rhinoceros iguana, and he's found in the oasis area. So when guests come into the park, they're gonna take a right on the path, and when they pass our munchak, which is a small deer from Asia, Sid will be on the left. Sid is in his mid-40s, which is pretty amazing when you think about their general lifespan. In his habitat, he has a heated rock because he's a reptile, and in order for them to regulate their temperature, it's based on the environment. So that heated rock that he loves to lay on gives him the warmth that he needs. Tuma is one of our original Nile River hippos, and you can find her on the Gorilla Falls Exploration Trail or Kilimanjaro Safaris. And she is a great mother, very protective, and always watching out for her children. Tuma loves being in the water. She, uh, even when she was a baby, she would climb into her water troughs and just stick her head and toes out. In fact, we actually call her Tuma Toes, partially because she's got some bright pink spots right between her toes. Johnny is the white stork, and he's found in the habitat in front of the Tree of Life. Interestingly, many guests have him in their photo without them even knowing about it. Every time they take a picture of the Tree of Life, Johnny might be in it. The guests coming to the park have an opportunity to connect up close and personal to all the animals. And it is such a wonderful story and a reflection upon the care that they get, especially for these legacy and heritage animals that have been here since the beginning. On behalf of all cast members at Disney's Animal Kingdom, thank you for celebrating the 25th anniversary with us.